Hey, Don here. Okay, so we're going to do another virus scan on the uh, AS Rock. And I've used pretty much all of the, most all of the uh, rescue ISOs, uh, rescue disk systems that are run on Linux operating systems. I'm using easy to boot to set it all up now. It's uh, it's made by the uh, guy at RM RM Prep USB. Um, or the people or who you know whatever it is organization one person I don't know but um, it's uh, pretty cool once you get it set up. It takes a little bit of work but. Uh, and of course, I kind of went through the back door. I already had my uh, USB, my SD card in my USB adapter formatted FAT32, and already had some files on there, so I didn't want to reformat it. So I kind of went and read through all their instructions and went around the block. And instead of form letting their little app, their app will format it for you if you want to do that. Hang on a sec. <coughs> <coughs> And that's the uh, address down there of the two websites. Easy to boot.com and rmprepusb.com. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with it. Uh, you're able to boot. I haven't actually done an install yet, but I, I booted up my Windows 7 I, I install ISOs to see. And I have a Windows 7 system on my, it, on my I call it my AS Rock because it has an AS Rock motherboard. Um, and I scanned it our last time with uh, that's the first vi only virus scanner uh, I have on here is uh, Bitdefender, and I and it it uh, it was a finally came up with no uh, infections or root kits in the in the system itself. There was uh, after like I keep saying I'm just going to say around eight times that I've different ones I scanned it with. Only reason I keep doing it over and over is well, of course, it's not. If it doesn't come up clean, then you'd be silly to use it. You know, it's just going to spread again. And uh, the reformatting would have been a lot quicker. But I have uh, all these videos off my phones backed up in there, and I don't have uh, any place else to put them. I don't have enough space anywhere. So uh, back to the main menu. <coughs> so what I'm going to try this time, since I've tried all the ones I like. Uh, ran all of the virus scanner rescue CDs, USBs, whatever you want to call them. I've been using USB, but they uh, when I st started in all this, you know, USB wasn't even a bootable thing. So, uh, matter of fact, I started in 2005. There wasn't very many machines that would boot to any kind of USB stick back then. So everything was CD and DVDs, you know. So, and that's still kind of what they call them a lot of the times when they talk about them call them rescue disc or rescue CD or disc would kind of cover everything you know but anyway there's quite a few apps that came with it and then there's some that I put in there and I won't go into each one but uh, just so the video won't be so long but uh, you just copy them over to the right folder and then it finds them and you can boot to them you, well, you do have to copy them, and then you have to run a little app that's kind of a, really a defrag app. They call it, they say, make the files contiguous. That's what they say. It kind of threw me off for a while. I was like, what are you talking about? I knew that word sounded familiar from years past with Windows, but um, I finally caught on just by doing it. You know, all it's doing is running, it runs defrag and uh, either check disk or fix disk. What's the other one? Check disk. Uh, Anyway, I don't. I haven't done Windows. I only do Windows kind of just to play with it. Ever since 2005, I use Linux. It's my main operating system since then, and so that's what I have in my head. So uh, there's the Windows install. There's three present. It doesn't always say what's in there. Like the antivirus, it doesn't say there's one in there, but there is. And Linux, I know I have Fedora 24 in there. I don't know how it decides what to do on that, but uh, let's see. What I want is. Okay, Windows install and Windows. There we go. Now these are, <coughs> and like I said, I just chose to put these in there, but I have Hiren's Boot CD, 
and React OS. And Hirons has a mini XP, a live XP system. It's uh, really good. It's really good at running the things they already have on there for you. And there's a lot of good tools in there, and there are plenty of virus scanners and stuff in there. But they haven't made a new one since for three or four years. So basically, since XP, you know, was uh, left behind by Microsoft, and I don't believe you can boot. Uh, I don't know quite sure how he pulled it off, but from what I've read, uh, I don't believe they can boot uh, a live Windows 7 or anything newer. So. Um, because of the way they wrote, you know, when Microsoft did it, this system. But, uh, and then React OS is what they call, let's see what it says. What do you want to do? It asked me if I want to do something, then it just did something. Okay. Press any key to boot from CD. Whoops. Well, I went ahead and hit enter. I kind of wanted to wait and see what it did, but that's all right. Okay, so it looks like it's booting up. But it, no, it didn't work. Okay, it took me back. May not this one may not work on here. I don't know. They're not not all ISOs will boot in here. This may be my first one that won't. Let's see. I'll just not do anything. What? Type qu quickly. I can't read as fast as you. I'm not gonna do anything this time. See what happens. It may just probably just do the same thing and take me back. I don't even know what the question was. I think maybe it's going right back, yeah. Okay, let's go in there again. This time I'll try hitting my arrow keys up or down to try and make it pause. I saw AS key file extension. Yes, no. Okay, to avoid this prompt, I think I got it to stop. To avoid this prompt, do not use the ISO as a file extension. Instead, use ISO default or set no SUG equals so and so, so and so. View so, type quickly to use ISO ASK. Ask, ISO ask. Okay. Some of it's not on the screen. It didn't uh, fit the screen right. Some do that and some don't. Some Sometimes you boot it again and the next time it'll work. I don't know. I think... Um, I think I'm going to say no this time if I can see the keyboard long enough to do it. There we go. Peeking over the phone. See what happens. Oops. I hit the wrong key. Oh, what's this? accidentally hit the ne key next to the well it did something it's like I selected a menu well it's trying this time I accidentally missed enter and hit uh, key next to it so I must have act somehow made it select one of those options there man it doesn't give me time to <coughs> read it <coughs> figure out what you want to do it looks like it's going to boot though but this is um Notice the uh, SYS files and all that. This is what they, c they call it a binary compatible operating system. Binary compatible with Windows uh, operating system. Windows operating uh, Windows applications. It's um, an open source uh, binary compatible with Windows. I, 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 there's got, they got a certain way they say it um, on their website, but been around for quite a few years 10 12 15 years that I know of and uh, I've tried it out I've got a real quite a bit older version that it would run and, and but you really couldn't do much on it and they say I read an article about it not too long ago this is 2016 in uh, September 2016 uh, that said it was beginning to work better you know they haven't they haven't moved very fast because they just don't have very many people working on it but uh, and it's a huge task they say uh, because it's all completely it's not just a copy that you know they can't use any um, of the Microsoft stuff or they get sued so they have to rewrite everything from scratch themselves and so that's all everything needed to make it work you can see all these a whole bunch of the files that are booting up you know that are having to be run here as it's booting up <coughs> actually it may be hung up it hasn't changed any um, 
not doing anything on the error keys. A lot of times that'll make it go back and forth between a command, showing the command line and not, you know, like just showing a graphic or something. So, um, I may, uh, I'm deciding if I should uh, stop the video and then go back and mess with it for a while and figure it out before I make any more video. But uh, anyway, uh, I've played around with it a little bit. It boots up fine on the, my US, regular USB sticks. Let's see, did I have it on a USB? Yeah, I didn't burn. I don't usually use CDs anymore because I don't want to waste the money in on them, you know, just for trying things out. Oh, I, I booted up in the virtual machine. That's what I did. Uh, but it didn't uh, see my network card. Didn't make it. Didn't make a network connection. It's not a real card, you know, in your virtual machine. It's a virtual network, virtual NIC. So um, it didn't work. Uh, so I couldn't uh, do very much, you know. And now this, I, I don't know. This is a fairly new uh, motherboard. I mean, for. Or something that's basically it's it's got a lot like what I understand it it's it it seems and feels a lot like XP but I think it's more underneath more like NT Windows NT so it may not work with newer uh, this is a gigabit Ethernet in this uh, motherboard built in you know and it may not work with that chip it would probably work with the old real text and stuff I would imagine um. Of course, if I had the driver to install, I can do that, but uh, I'd have to put it on this USB stick or something, and, or this SD card. Actually, I may have that. Yeah, but it's for Windows 7. But uh, anyway, <coughs> it's not hung up right now. I don't know what option I ended up picking. I can't really, making the video, I can't, uh, I'm holding with my left hand still as I can with the phone, and then working with my right hand, and I can't can't think and move my fingers it's all that many things at one time so I think I'll stop the video see if I can figure out what it takes to get it to boot and then maybe I'll report back okay bye